guys welcome back to my channel so now that I'm filming this intro I love the way my makeup looks with the ring light but I hate how dark the dark the background looks so in the video it's completely different lighting I'm sorry you guys I'm still trying to work out the kinks with lighting this is a lot harder than what you think okay but bear with me at some point in my life I'm gonna get it right but this is the makeup look that I filmed it was pretty much like a get ready with me style video because I'm on my way out to run errands go to the mall I'm trying to find a pair of sneakers that I can wear with these two dresses for my blog that I got from forever 21 so there I'm either gonna get a pair of Adidas or a pair of Nike so either or this white eyeliner look is completely inspired by this Instagram picture that NYX Cosmetics posted the other day. And that's the picture. Isn't that gorgeous? She had a very gorgeous like brown smoky eye with the eyeliner at the end and then the front. She probably used a liquid liner, which I don't have. I use a Makeup Forever white eyeliner, but I was so inspired by this look and I just really wanted to just kind of recreate it my style. So yeah, this is not an original. I totally saw this picture and I felt completely inspired. <laughs> so thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So let's get started. I have a cold, so please don't mind me guys. I sound horrible, I know. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to start off moisturizing my skin because like I always tell you guys, I have dry skin and apparently I must be really proud of it because I always talk about it. <laughs> but I love the Soap and Glory moisturizer, which I'm all out, so I have to get a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows with my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow. And I don't know why I did that face, you guys. I really don't know. I think I was seriously hyper that day. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows, fill in all the gaps, all the places where I've tweezed too many years and now the hair no longer grows in certain areas. Isn't that horrible? Like, why does that happen? I don't get it. Someone explain to me in the comment box, in the comment box down below. So I'm going to define and highlight my brows using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I really love this stuff. I can't believe I've had it for so long and I never thought to use it for my brows. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me, but it just really highlights them. These are my two go-to foundations. I love them so much, but I'm going to go and just stick with my Holy Grail, my Boo, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in Y365. I am just so obsessed with this. I find to apply this to give myself the best application is to apply it with a beauty blender. I'm using the Real Techniques blending sponge, and to me, it just gives me the most flawless airbrush um, look. So to hot, not to highlight, what, what is wrong with me? So to conceal my under eyes, I'm first going in with my MAC Mineralized Concealer in NW25. I like to use this because one, it's a hydrating concealer, so it hydrates my under eyes because they are drying, and two, it's a darker color, so it kind of conceals the purple under my eyes. Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Holy Grail. The most talked about concealer in years on YouTube is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this stuff. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. I mean, I just wish I could just break the bottle and use every drop because I don't want to drop 20 something dollars on a concealer. But again, I use the same um, blending sponge. I just like to use the pointy side and again, I just apply it. Whatever's left on down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, the middle of my chin, etc., etc., etc. Now I'm going in with my Ben Nye translucent powder for baking. I don't like to bake too much because I have dry under eyes, so it's not a good idea. So I just leave it on for a little bit. Now to sculpt my face and just bronze it up, I'm using the It Cosmetics Sunshine in a Compact Bronzer in the color Warm. I just got this and I'm already loving it. So like I said, see, I don't leave it on too long. I'm already taking it off. But again, it gives me just the best look because it just doesn't look cakey or I don't get those lines. So now I'm just going to go ahead and sculpt my face a little bit just to give me a little bit of a sharper line where I applied that bronzer. And now I'm going to apply blush and I use the Smashing Color out of the Tarte Blush Palette. This is a really gorgeous color. That whole palette has just five gorgeous colors. I love it. 
So next I'm going to apply highlights and I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Opal Highlights. I love this stuff. I didn't show it in the video, but I did spray a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on this Real Technique brush and it really makes the highlight pop. So you just apply it everywhere you want your face to glow. <laughs> so now I'm just going to remove that translucent powder and apply it around my fine line. Alright, now we're going to get to the eye. So I'm going to start off with Max Eyeshadow in Soft Brown and Saddle. I really love mixing these two colors together. It just gives me a nice, warm, um, kind of a little bit of an orangey um, color. And then I'm just going to deepen it a little bit in the outer crease using... Um, Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear Eyeshadow, and one of my favorite pressed pigments from MAC is Deeply Dashing. This is absolutely gorgina. I love this stuff. So again, it just gave the look a little bit more glam, and again, I find the best way to apply it is with your finger. I'm just going to go back in with Cocoa Bear and with a pencil brush just to kind of get concentrate more on the outer crease. I'm just going to apply that just to kind of make it a little bit darker, a little bit deeper. And then I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put it under my lower lash line to smoke it out a little bit. I really like putting eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I feel like if you're going to put it on your eyes, you might as well do the whole shebang. So the star of the show is this Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in M16. It is the color white. It is a great eye pencil. These This whole line of eye pencils are amazing. They're smooth, they're creamy, they're pigmented, they're easy to work with. I am absolutely obsessed. So um, like I said in the beginning, I saw inspiration on Instagram, so I really wanted to kind of recreate this look to my best ability. So I'm just winging it out as best as I could, and that was a lot harder to do than what I thought. So I'm going in with another Makeup Forever Aqua uh, XL eye pencil, and this is in D62. It's a bronzy brown color. It's gorgeous. So I really wanted to apply it on my lower um, eyelid, but just to kind of look like I had like false lashes on the bottom. Now I'm using my favorite mascara from IT Cosmetics. It's Hello Lashes Mascara. Gorgeous. It's going to be the most longest fake lashes look ever. I'm obsessed. Now for the lips, I'm using NYX Lip Pencil in Mauve, and then I'm pairing that with L'Oreal Ferris Nude. And I really like this combo. I just kind of made it up. And obviously, as you can tell, Ferris Nude is a color that I go to a lot because that baby is time to get a new one. <laughs> she is ready to go. And then on top of that, I'm putting Tarte Avi Lip Gloss. This color is gorgeous. This formula is amazing. I'm obsessed. It's not sticky. It is just shiny, creamy, and just a showstopper. I love this formula. So again, this is a get ready with me. So I'm putting on my favorite earrings and I let my hair down because I had to fix it because it was looking a hot mess. And I left my hair in a ponytail today. I don't know. I just thought the eyes were so eye popping. I really wanted them to be, you know, the star of my face. I figured my hair pulled back would really show off the eye look. I really thought this look needed lashes. So I put on the Ardell 120 Demi Wispies and it just really put the whole look together. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!